Well, welcome to the Clo Adventure Channel. This is part two of the DNT Thermite Scope Review, uh, part one, which is right here. Uh, it went, we went over the features, um, some of the things of how it works, and that's that there. And part, this is part two. We're going to go over the uh, workings of the scope. We're going to use the app, show you how uh, it works, how it looks through the app. And part three, which is this one, will be the ballistics calculator. So I hope you enjoy the video, leave comments, leave questions. I'll do my best to answer it. I have a very good working relationship with the uh, people at DNT. So if you have a question I don't have uh, that I can't answer, I, I can make one phone call and get the answers to it. So stand by, we're going to the app. All right, here we are looking at the uh, new Thermite scope and we're going to go over a couple of the controls so that you can see what they are. First of all, the main one here is your power button. This one here and right down here is a little hole and when you hold the button you'll see the little blue light turn on and tell you that it's on. There you go, you see a little blue light turned on? That's that. Um, the second button you'll need to know about is this, I'm going to call it the center of the three buttons here, the one with the little uh, gear. This is your setup button uh, or your menu button. This button here is your color selector. It'll pick uh, different colors and go from therm, thermal uh, imaging to day-night mode. This button here is your picture-in-picture uh, -picture button. So that's real handy. And then the button down here will be your record. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the app. Uh, and let's, we're going to go, uh, we're going to go to the app and we're going to notice that you can pick this up from the Google Play Store or the Apple. Right now I have it on the Apple and I'm doing it this way so that you can see what button, what buttons I press. So right there, you're going to download the DNT app. And when you go into it, it will show you this. Um, you may have to add your device. And what you'll do is um, turn on the Wi-Fi. And we'll show you that in just a moment. Um, but you can, you can, you'll see how to do that in a moment. But uh, you'll notice right here, it says, uh, uh, unconnected and um, what you need to do is go into your settings of whatever device go to Wi-Fi and pick the TNC 225 R and that will be the uh, Wi-Fi to the unit and then just go back to the app tap this and you'll now see I use a nice pen uh, that it's now connected and down at the bottom you'll see devices which is this uh, hitting album it'll go through and it'll it'll pick out all the uh, videos and uh, pictures from the unit ballistics will be we will go into this in part three of the video uh, videos here and profile is just a couple of uh, uh, contact us and questions and that kind of stuff so if we go into devices and we hit devices you will see the picture um, and that's what you see out of the viewfinder and we'll go through a couple of the picture the, the options here down here is the time uh, you'll see the time here and it's, it's actually in, uh, op, uh, what do you call this, uh, European time. It's 11.23 and 57 seconds. Uh, this here is your battery. And if I pull the power on my battery, pull the external, you'll see that I have a full charge. Uh, all th uh, There's four lines here. And depending on which line, it'll tell you how much charge. I like running with the... 
external power in doing these. That way I know I don't have any, prob uh, any problems with running out of voltage. This uh, icon here is the microphone, which means the unit is recording when we hit the record button. This button here is your Wi-Fi, and again, we'll show you that. Uh, I'll put a little link here on where to jump to in the video to turn this on. Hard to see this one. Hang on, let me just move the camera just a bit. This one here is your Bluetooth, and that's for the ballistics calculator. The next one over is your uh, multiplying index on the scope. So that's that. This is the little logo for them. So when you when you hit the center button here, you will then see options on the side. This here are your options. You have two pages of these, and we're just going to go one by one right down the right down the the row of these. The first one here is the uh, screen brightness. I have it set at three. The picture-in-picture uh, -picture button, if you hit that, since the arrow is on this one here, it'll, it'll give you the next option over. And then now there's uh, one, two, and three. And by hitting the setup or the pick camera button, the up or down buttons at this point, you'll see that this little, um, little marker makes it brighter or lower. To take to accept that again, hit the far right key or the picture in picture, and you'll accept that. Moving down to the next one, this is the connection. This will be the Wi Fi connection. Again, hitting the picture in picture will move the menu over one, and there's Bluetooth, or there's Wi Fi and Bluetooth, and we'll just show you with Bluetooth because if I turn off Wi Fi, we're going to lose the picture here. So go down to Bluetooth, hit the right button arrow over, it'll tell you on and off. And let's move the scope here over to Bluetooth right there. And if I hit the button down to turn it off, and then right to turn to, to enter it, you'll see that the Bluetooth is now turned off. Again, to turn it back on, Hit the button up to put the marker on on. Hit the right button over to accept it, and you'll see the Bluetooth is back on. So um, at the very beginning of this video, when I said uh, turn on Wi-Fi, this is where you'll go. You go to the little world symbol for the connection and turn on Wi-Fi. Um, to get back this way, you'll hit the left arrow key and it'll bring you back. Going down to the next one is zeroing. Um, this here is one shot zeroing and we're gonna do a real quick demonstration of how to do that. Okay, we're here doing the one shot zeroing and that is this here icon. And easy thing to do is, first thing you do is hit the picture and picture button and get the options. So the options down here are digital. By hitting the up or down, you can flip between thermal and the digital. Next one over is your uh, number of profiles. You can have A through E. And by just hitting the up, you can circle through them. The uh, X, is to move this uh, radical to the right or to the left. The Y is to move it up and down. The next one over is the color and that'll be the color of the radical. You can change it from black, yellow, green, and red. For this demonstration, we'll use uh, yellow just because it's nice and easy to see. And the last one over here, the style, is the reticle style. And I like four with the small little dot, but if you just hit them, you can get a small little X. 
you can get the large, you get that, you get that, and back to my number four. So to go one shot zeroing, go over to here, pick a spot, and we're going to pick this spot over here, little mark right here. I got one chambered and just fire one shot. Nope, got a chamber one. Hang on one moment. Oh, I hope I didn't put two in. So again, pick the dot, pull the trigger. And there's our, that's where we hit. So what we do right now is we leave our crosshairs on the point that we originally shot at and hit the power button one time. Now watch these blurry leaves in the back. You're gonna freeze the picture. See how they stopped? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the X and Y and move this radical over to that dot. So just let's hit this, go over. That looks good about there. Now let's jump over to Y by hitting the picture and picture button. And let's go up to here. And I think we can go back to X here for a minute. And let's go over just a bit more. Oop, wrong way. Okay, once it's there, now just hold you read it here, long press on the right button, which is the picture and picture button, uh, it'll save and exit. So we will, and you'll notice the pictures. Okay, so now we moved to there. So let's try to put another one in. Let's go back to our original spot. right there and pull the trigger. Well, let's make it just a hair bit better. And pull the trigger. Uh, that's not too bad. Uh, according to that, that's probably less than a quarter of an inch. And for this demonstration, we're just gonna leave it, but uh, we'll, uh, you can, you can keep doing it and getting it closer and closer and closer. So that is one shot zeroing. Uh, just to show you that it does work. Let's try to go and hit that again. It's right there on it and ooh, 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 and pull the trigger just a hair above it now i'm shooting premier domes hollow points uh so they're not the best pellet uh but for here that's less than a that's less than a half an inch at 30 some yards so that's that to get out of zero uh, one shot zeroing, you'll hit the left air, the left button over. Uh, where's our cross? That's going up and down. There we go. Okay. Dual mode. This here is the option when you hit the right button over. Uh, I have it in dual mode, which means it will be, I can flip between thermal and uh, the digital or the day night and if you just want to use it as a thermal leave it here that side button over here won't do anything so that's that to get out of this you go back one go down to this next one which is the ballistics calculator if we go here we can use the ballistic calculation and 
we're going to use, for me, I use the table. Uh, Real-time calculation is you leave the uh, app running on your screen and it will, you can punch in all the information. I like the table just because I don't need the phone with me all the time. So that's the way I leave it. Oh, let's go back. I'm sorry. Uh, go back to aiming method. This will be uh, dial in, which means as I change the distance with the range finder, my crosshairs will move. And the holdover is you need the MOI and all that. I'm not a uh, expert on that. I just use dial in, set the distance, and my uh, crosshairs go to where I need them to be. To get out of this, you hit the right key. Going down to uh, natural mode, and that's color enhancements for the pictures. It doesn't do a, a whole drastic. Oop. And uh, I've got it in natural mode and color enhancement. There's uh, a, a, like I said, it doesn't do much. I don't see much difference. Maybe I need to be in brighter sun to see a lot more difference. Um, it's very hard to see, but down here in the DN, there's two little dots and you're on the first page. So if you just hit the down button arrow, you'll go to another page. This again, this is natural. This is the setup for um, enhanced color and extra brightness. I don't need either one of those. I've done really well with just the natural. Um, again, moving it over. Next one down which is the thermal configuration. And again, you can put uh, the color mode. So this here, uh, the, the, I have it in uh, white hot. I like that, that's just easy for me to see, which means black hots, will, all your animals will be in black. Uh, iron hot is a bluish that and a red hot you'll see everything that's hot and red again i like white but that's totally up to you on how you want to do it uh, image contrast brightness image sharpness and are all pretty common i cannot find and i'm i hopefully i can get this before i post this video this thermal hot spot tracking i can't see what it does um, it places a little dot on the screen and the dot moves all over uh, so I, I'm, I got a call into the company for that. So hopefully I'll edit this video, add that in and take this part out. Get out of this. Auto mode is for the auto uh, recoil activation recording. And what that is, is you can set the gun, you can set the scope on the gun on a more powerful gun that has a recoil. My pellet gun does not have any recoil whatsoever so when I go to shoot it it really doesn't turn on but what it would do is if you were shooting a much higher caliber bullet it will detect the shaking of the gun and turn the camera on uh, and record what you're uh, what you were aiming at next button down is the audio the unit itself has a built-in microphone and that will uh, you can turn the microphone on or off. This here is the function settings, and you'll see there's a, a few functions in here. Uh, illuminator type, and it, that's the uh, uh, infrared. And right now, I'm I, again, I am no IR expert, so I cannot tell you, but you can choose between these two settings. If you do change the IR unit, it, you'll actually get a third one here um, that says 940. So we can, uh, if I ever get that, I'll show you that back out of that. Uh, auto power on and off, pretty self-explanatory. You can leave, you can set it for a certain amount of minutes um, to turn off. Since I do a lot of nighttime thermal, I leave this on because I'm constantly looking through it but you can set it, you can do whatever you want. Loop recording, this is when you put it on record, it will put it in three minute increments 
recording files on your uh, on the storage memory so you could do a whole bunch of one minute ones three minutes five minutes um if if you take more than three minutes to cite it in take the shot and go fine do that but if you're really quick just bang bang one minute will do you so that's what that is again that's total preference to you picture in picture window or positioning left will be over here in the corner center is here up in the top and right would be over this i have it in left and again this is just my preferences when you put it in the center here it just takes away from the main screen um, in thermal mode if it happens to run this way or you know run up the screen you it's hard to see so i like it here in the corner uh, it wouldn't make a difference right or left corner but at least this way here it, it doesn't cover any of that so i'm going to go back to left lock it in with the right gyroscope again you can turn it on or off it will tell you the different angles that the scope is looking at uh, since I, I'm shooting very little, uh, I'm all flat. I don't really use it. Ranging units, this is metric or yards. And again, go down to yards. Enter it in. That's that. Get out of this. We go to the very last one, which is the system settings. And again, this here is pretty much... Um, anything you you know it's pretty obvious this is the reticle on or off so if you hit off and turn it on you'll see the yellow goes away pretty simple uh, turn it back on uh, sc screen shifting uh, that is to line up the picture in picture to put this crosshairs on that crosshairs uh, that's that Timestamp turns this timestamp on or off. Date and time, you can set it. You can set it for different languages. You can format the, uh, the little card on the inside. Um, you can uh, uh, restore the entire scope back to factory conditions. Uh, available storage, and it'll just tell you the version. So that's that. So that's what we're doing there those are the options and we'll get out of all of this so if you go up to the top and you go back the album is now connected it is now connected to the scope here so these are the pictures we have on the scope these are I just did this today and uh, we were we were zeroing it in and down here it'll show you pictures and there's some pictures hit a picture you can view it on your phone and there's a cow and that's that uh, do I have a picture and picture in I'll show you what it looks like uh, in the night um, with the infrared. You see there's a little mouse running. So the picture is very clear. So that, that's how to get it. To put it to your phone, you want to put, uh, let's, uh, where's that cow picture? Here's this cow picture. We want to put this to the phone. Just come over here and tap that, and you'll see that it's cruising real good, putting the, putting the uh, picture of the, the video of the cow onto this iPad. And again, I don't need that, so I'll cancel that for the time being. Um, the ballistics calculator we're going to get into that and again that is 
you know, where I'm shooting, how you're shooting, the type of bullet you're shooting, and that'll be in the third video of this series. And again, the profile is just questions and answers, app version, how to contact uh, DNT. So uh, that's that. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for look up there. That's part three, the ballistics calculator. And uh, talk to you soon.